Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about uh, joining two fact tables using a single dimension tables for slicing and dicing and you can use the same formula for uh, slicing and dicing uh, across multiple dimensions as long as you have got common dimensions between two fact tables. So in this diagram I've got two fact tables, the internet sales amount and the fact inventory, sorry fact product inventory. And now I'll just show you in the in uh, the reporting tab I've already created a mini table where I've got the color from so the color comes from the fact internet sales table and the sales amount comes from the fact internet sales table however you can see the unit balance is coming from the fact product inventory so uh, when the data is getting filtered from fact internet sales table the filters don't flow into units balance and that is because there is no common table joining uh, uh, the two tables or there is no relationship between the two tables. So how you can join them is using a common uh, dimension table or a slicer table. So in this case let's just go back here to the data model and I've got the dim product uh, which is a common dimension. So what we'll do is we'll uh, join uh, the product key. Uh, so let's just quickly uh, click on manage relationships and we can uh, just uh, do a new one so we can say fact internet sales table product key is equal to dim product dot product key that looks good to me and we'll add one more relationship and in this case we'll join the fact product inventory to the dim product using the product key again and yes that looks okay so I'll just click on the OK button and I click close and you can see now that the relationship has been created so let's just quickly go back here and what we'll do is we'll get the color from so we'll remove this color which is coming from the fact internet sales table and we'll get the color from the dim product so let's just drag this one here and you can all of a sudden see that the amounts are getting uh, sliced correctly so in this video what we've essentially done is that we've added a common slicer table between two fact tables uh, linking them together uh, so we can do the analysis correctly and the data gets filtered out correctly as well. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.